The Legadas have finally lost their first game this season against City Lugo in the Segunda. A 2-1 defeat at home in front of the fans was not something Wenger could withhold, and the second invincible dream he had was over. Following that, a new new draw against a team like Logronias, Leganes won the next three games. When it came to the untelevised games, a 3-0 win against Poferradinha followed by 1-1 draws with both Mirandes and Girona, and a 1-0 win against Sabadell, and to end it off with a 2-0 win against Cartagena. Even though Arsene Wenger and Leganes started winning once again, because of their recent poor run of form, they're only 4 points ahead of 2nd place Espanyol. There are also big question marks regarding top players who might be keen on moves elsewhere. Let us see what Wenger and Tati are dealing with when it comes to the players. So, Arsene Wenger, we have some very bad news. <laughs> Well, what is it? Both Jose Arnaiz and Baston both got offers and are keen on leaving. Arnaiz is upset that you don't play him as much and he has received an offer from Getafe. He says he wants to move because it is a step up to his career. Really? Is that so? Ah, uh, yes! We have received a bid from Baston from Santos and they have a thing activated his release clause. They've also given him a massive contract. Well, I guess we have to sell. You are not convinced them to stay? Well, if. They want to move, uh, then they want to move. If the player doesn't want to play for our club, uh, he won't give us all. If I, if I do convince him, the player is distracted already. No reason for him to stay. He has to go. Is there anything else that you have for me? No, uh, this is... Hold on, hold, just one second. Uh, hello? Yes, but... But... But wait, yes. Uh, okay. Okay, bye. Who is that the president? Victoria? No. It was De La Fuente. He wants to leave this summer. Okay, so we have some press conference questions. The first one comes from K. Olaf, and it's not something that relates to the to the series, but you know, he's asking me, can you do a season with Super Strikers? I'd really love to see that. Well, I won't do a season with Super Strikers because they're not in PES 21, and I didn't make them in this version of the game. I made them my PS4 version of the game. Um, but I will. I am planning on doing a Super Strikers Cup. I was thinking about it, I put a vote out, so if you haven't voted, go leave your vote in. Um, I'll do a cup, have like a couple teams participate, and then it'll be fun to watch. And uh, Jonathan Kenneth is asking, what do you think about your team's performance? Hashtag long time buddy. Yeah, it's been a while since he commented, welcome back man. The team's been playing well this season, besides the game against Lugo and Villarreal. For the most part, we've done what we had to do. And uh, I'm proud of them, you know, they're a good, they're good set of players, a lot of them will have to move on because I don't think they'll cut it in the first division, but for when it comes to second division, they're doing okay. And Gaming Knights is asking, what? He's asking, Arsene Wenger, how did you drop to a high team Arsenal to a low team like this? Well, very simple, you know, Arsenal sacked Arsene Wenger and uh, Leganes offered him no job, you know. You know, Arsene Wenger is usually a manager that comes in and, and, and puts a style of football from beginning to end, and I uh, think you definitely lead like I to glory. Perfect player, perfect manager for a team like that, and uh, they'll be winning titles soon for sure. Thanks for the press conference questions, let's get this episode started. What is up guys, Bryza here, and welcome to the last episode of the Legendary Master League, at least the last episode for Season 1. Welcome back. So, um... You guys know the rundown basically. Lost our first game in the last episode, but bounced back. Kind of. Only four points ahead of uh, second place Espanol. I think we're already through to qualification, so we are getting promoted. Let's see. Our first game is against uh, Almeria in this episode. So let's uh, let's show you guys what's going on right now. So Almeria will be the first game in this episode, followed by Las Palmas, Malaga, Rayo Vallecano, Zaragoza, 
and Espanol beat the last game. So, let's try to finish this out on a high. First episode, the first game against Almeria. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe if you have it. And of course, this is the last episode. So, please leave signing recommendations in the comments for next season when we play La Liga. First game against Almeria. Let's uh, change the lineup real quick. Alright, so this is going to be the lineup for today. 4 2 3 1. The same as usual. This time, Sadi becomes in to replace a Ruben Perez. Defense bringing me pretty much the same. Um, Brandon starts up front. Our first game of the episode against Almeria will always be a tough game, but uh, we can definitely get a result. I press starts. I forgot to listen to the thing. Whatever. Uh, maybe we shouldn't have done black, this white, and uh, white and blue, white and red combination, but whatever. <laughs> heavily rotated attack. Not heavily, but uh, you no. Know. With new faces starting today, so D base starting once more. On the six foot seven defensive midfielder has been a good signing for us. And we hope he could continue his form. Here comes Brendan oh. Sanchez trying to find some space, gets past two on oh, the ball. Is this D base retains possession though, and he finds Bula who's making the run on the left hand side. Here comes Kevin Boa. Oh! Cuts him back to him! Like, I don't understand how you're missing that. Oh, he set it up on a play for you. Man, I'm there to think about it. Oh, what a phenomenal cutback. Even Brandon let, it, let the goal to him. He could have just taken it on his own. You miss an open goal! Good pass. Looking for Sadibe. Well defended. Sancho! Oh my god! <laughs> well, 27 minutes in, it's been a relatively quiet match. Um, some missed efforts here from um, Laganes, but nothing too concrete. The best chance was the Ibanez efforts. Sadiq makes it 1 0. And Sadiq makes it 1 0 for Almeria. Oh my god. And Laganes can see that home once again. Come on, somebody make a run. Go pass the fine boy. Sanchez! Jesus Christ, man! Shoot it on target! <laughs> Those shots horrible, man. Where are they going? At least give the keeper a hard time. Another good pass there from Boa. Sanchez, that's not even going towards the goal. Jeez, man. Here's a good pass to fine Boa. No pass! Oh, that's a foul! Are you serious, man? Halftime, 1-0 for Almeria. Oh my god, this team is struggling. I haven't had a shot on target yet. And we know Bias can score. But so can Brandon, how have you missed? But it's in, it's Boa! 1-1! One, one. And that's the counter-attacking you love to see. The stadium was glitching, but we don't mind. 1-1. One, one. Oh my god. Uh, Mr. Sanchez who pressed well, found Brandon, who found Ibanez, who found Brandon with the shots. Good save from the keeper. Mabua was there for the rebound. 1-1. One, one. Let's go. And Almeria, I think they when they played at their stadium, it was like, we beat them like 4-1 or something. Right now, it's been a tough, tough, tough game. Poor pass there from Brand, uh, from Silva. Sanchez sees Pardo. Ibanez. The pass to find Pardo. And he's through on goal. Oh my god. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Keep it low. Uh, that was a good pass too. Oh, what are you playing at, man? Just keep it low. That's a goal right there. And Sadiq is through on goal. But Quillar's, the reaction time from Quillar is immense. CD Bay. So pokes the ball through. And Silva being pressed. Hernandez retains possession and can't pass the ball. Here comes Believe on this right hand side. Sadiq has been running behind the line this whole game and we haven't been reading him. Alright, Brandon, you're gonna come off. I'll bring on Marvin. Marvin, I'm bringing on De La Fuente, sorry. Marvin, what a finish! 
And what a goal! And it's the Real Madrid youngster, or former Real Madrid youngster, Marvin, that puts it away, makes it 2-1 Leganes. What a comeback. Oh, wonderful there from the right back. Found Marvin, took the cuts, took the shots, and what a finish that is. 2-1. What a game. As I go through both to find Belieu, going against Silva, who's on yellow card. They're playing it quickly, you wow! I thought I was going to take another flesher to the goal. Okay, okay, okay. He has passed even Nudo with these. Here comes De La Fuente. He would love to get a goal here. De La Fuente! Oh my god. That's my mistake. That's honestly my mistake. Nobody was closing him down. That was probably the easiest goal for me to score. The keeper was coming off his line. To, uh, I should have added more power to that. And Silva is tired. No energy on him. Oh, Sadiq, how have you not scored that? That should have been the equalizer. Four minutes of added time here. Can Almeria find something here? They were leading the game for in the first half. The Leganes came back in the second half. Played some really good football here. Sadibe finds Boa De La Fuente. Would love to get a goal here. He's offside. Oh, he was just a toe offside. Oh, man. Unfortunate. They play along. Maybe to find the head of De La Fuente. No, he's not the tallest person. Full time. 2-1 for Leganes. We get our first victory of the episode. And it's thanks to Marvin with the game winner and Boa with the equalizer. I think he's going to get mad at the match. He played really well today, Boa. Like, he has been all season. And the results, so how's Espanol doing? They won again, okay. So they're still right behind us. If, if we could keep it through the last day, this, this gap through the last day, then I think we got it. And it's official. Both Baston and Anais will be leaving at the end of the season. I think I could afford to skip this game against Las Palmas. Oh my god. What?! Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'm never skipping a game ever again. 4 0! Are you serious? Is that Hernandez? Oh my god, I can't believe we lost that game 4 0. I can't skip another game because if I skip another one, then we lose. Alright, let's change the lineup real quick. Alright, this is the lineup for today. Delafon's gonna start today because he's in excellent form, so let's give him a run. Um, Alright, so let's get, try to get a victory here. Rainy day at. Uh, Estadio Municipal Butarque, the home stadium of Leganes. They're only one point ahead of second place, Espanol. They wanna. They already clinched promotion, both two teams, but they wanna make sure that they win the league. Also, I think it hasn't won a league title since the invincible season, and it's very close to doing it to this episode. If we can keep our good run of form going, then we could definitely do it. The game gets underway, rainy day. And. South Madrid as former Champions League um, team Malaga is facing um, soon to be promoted soon to be first division uh, Leganes Boa Santales plays a short that's not a bad effort to be honest De La Fuente oh good effort there but it's a good save the offense has only scored one goal ever since February. One goal. And I did it. I wasn't even recording when he scored that goal. He's been poor this second half of the season. My goodness. Well, and we got a free kick in the dangerous area. Who's our best free kick taker? No Rosales anymore, so it's Ruben Pardo. Good position there from the experience. This is unbelievable. He's Bernabe. Uh, trying to pan, ping the ball to Palencia, but what the fans once again from Malaga to corner. Pardo on the cross. Trying to find the head of De La Fuente. What the fans once again, and it's Marvin. Oh my god, what is that pass, man? What are you doing? Orlando Sa gets past the defender. Malaga haven't done much. De La Fuente! Oh my god! They don't want him to score! Are you serious, man? He would have buried that! You gotta be joking me, man. What is that? <sighs> Everything's just falling apart right now. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know what they're doing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
We were 1-0 down against uh, Maria. We ended up finding a result there. It's possible. We can do it. Jeez, man. That Delafonte effort. I'm still mad about that. He would have scored that. I don't know. What the heck is going on? Good photo fine, Bua. 1-1. One, one. Marvin, Bua, go. And right before the half ends, we get the crucial goal before. And Leganes have equalized. And it's halftime, 1-1. One, one. They've been, they've been, they have not been good at all. I don't know how this game is tied 1-1. One, one. They only got one shot on target and they scored. I don't know, my game is just unresponsive at times. Here comes Bernabe. Who's not been... He's been okay today. Nothing special. Here comes Pardo. Who finds Marvin? Who knocks the ball back? Not a bad idea. Nobody there to finish the plan off. The pass there from Marvin. Looking for Palencia de la Fuente, please! No! <laughs> Bro, I wanted to score so bad. How's that ball in? Wow, oh, I thought I messed that up. Okay. Well, Boa. You're taking too long with that pass, man. One minute of added time. Are you serious, ref? Come on. Pick it up! Ah oh, man, how do I draw this game? Man, I'm sure, I'm sure Espanol won and then pass us. <sighs> Espanol, where they they win. So they go above us on the table and their goal difference is like, they have such a better goal difference than us, man. Alright, we gotta figure this out, man. We have one, two more games before Espanol. That's a cup final if playing against Espanol. Alright, this lineup we're going for. Hopefully this does the job. Alright, Stara de Vallecas. Let's try to get a victory here, please. Alright, big game against Ryan Vallecano. Oh my god, we've just been falling apart recently. We won the game against... My, uh, I forget that team's name. Pretty comfortably, we sim the game against Las Palmas. That might be the verdict for this league. Been a good start here for, Lega, for Ryan Vallecano. And we are struggling. That's out of bounds! Oh my god. Dimitrievski, that's the goalkeeper for uh, for North Macedonia. Yeah, he's been playing really well in the Euros. Knock it down, Arnaiz, man! Are you having your Getafe move in your mind already? Come on, the season isn't over yet. I don't think I can afford to draw this game because if it falls down to goal difference, then I'm out. I'm not gonna win the. I mean, I'll still get promoted, but I won't win the league. Arnaiz with a good ball. Stick a leg out! Why are you going for with your head? Don't toe poke that man. Rip that! Get to concede the corner somehow. Alright, Silva. It's a good ball in. Looking for the head of somebody. Falls to a Pardo. Paris. What a ball! Please. That's a phenomenal ball from Sanchez. Oh my god, I can't believe Palencia just destroyed that. If you just shot it on target, he was off his line. Why are you shooting up? Come on, Darnays, please. Come on, your last play of the game. You suck, man. How did you miss that? On the ball here. And it's 1 0 leg on us. The right back scores. Sergi Palencia. Why has, it done, has not done anything this game? But he finally gets the breakthrough. Leg on this one. Volcano nil. Mario Suarez coming off for them. And Marvin replacing our nice. The Getafe bound winger. Oh my god, that goal is huge. That's a huge goal. Huge goal. Just try not to concede, because I know in this game you love to concede as soon as you score. That's a poor pass from Pozo. Sanchez finds Marvin. Come on. Oh, he kept that in, ref. <laughs> that's alright, that's alright. Pardo. Brandon. Oh, I should have passed some Mar to Brandon. Oh, why did I pass to Marvin? Hernandez has gone past Silva. He's been 
really bad today, Silva. Nah. That's how you guys conceded against Malaga. Great hold play from Ujo. You know he's a tall player. Well defended. It falls right to Komisanya. Ooh, I thought he scored that. Alright, Fran Garcia coming out for Mario Hernandez. If he's a like for like replacement, then Silva, you're gonna have to make sure that you're on the top toes. Good pass to find Ibanez, though. It can't be Catania. Catania does well to box him out. Alright, just hold on. 30 seconds, 20 seconds, 10 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Crucial, crucial victory for Leganes. 1 0. Thanks to Sergi Palencia. Come on. And Espanol, how do they do? They won again. Oh, okay. It's tight, man. It's tight. We still have one more game to save our season. Things that we cannot afford to drop points this next game against Zaragoza because if they win, then they won the league. Espanol getting linked with the move to uh, Hernandez? Never. Alright. This. Uh, Okay, there's no no room for errors in this game, man. If we don't win this game, we're basically out of the title race. Because if they win the next match, they'll be four points clear. And uh, if we win, if we do beat them, we'll only be a point behind them. So we need to make sure that we get the victory from, from the get-go. Knocks the ball forward, looking for Tejero. Good stop there from Palencia, though. Palencia got the winner in the previous game. Marvin's getting the nod. It's over. Others. Here comes Boa. With a solo run! And it's 1 0. And it's Kevin Boa that scores. Let's go. What a run there from Boa. Pierre passed one, got past two. Took the shot, the keeper is not stopping that. What a way to start the game 1 0. Here comes Marvin. Come on, Marvin. Cut it back. He's gonna meet me. Find Sanchez. Who we'll finds Pardo? De La Fuente sees Boa. <laughs> good effort, though. Right, good idea. Just the shot was horrible. One against Palencia. <laughs> I can see the free kick in a dangerous area. Hopefully, they don't shoot from here. I don't think they will. They do. And they score. I, I wasn't not expecting them to shoot from there. Oh, man. Wednesday, come on! Just score, man. How are you missing that? Here goes Ken Tamaru. Come on. Oh, Fuente. Oh, he still has the ball. Come on. Oh, how's that a foul? Find Sanchez. Marvin sees Palencia. Ooh. Okay. Find a portal. That's not what I wanted to pass to. Ah, oh, man. No! Sanchez! And it's 2 1. I did it. I thought I was going out. And it's Hakeem! Hakeem Sanchez! Let's go. And what a goal that is for Leganes. Good pass there, Sanchez. Sorry, Silva found Sanchez. Bottom corner makes it 2 1. Let's go. It's a high cross. No, 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 no way. Oh my god. Get this ball out of here. That's all I need you to do. That's a foul. No foul. That's not physically possible. Look at how where he's hitting the ball. So. Alright, let it go. Let's go. 2 1. One more game left. <laughs> one more game. The big one left. That's it. Then we're done. At least for this season. The matter of the match was Sanchez. Espanol, how did they do? They drew! Wow. Espanol has drawn in the second to last game of the season. Meaning that Leganes can actually win the league with a draw. And we're at home in front of the fans also. Ah, uh, this, this is great. This this will be a dream come true. Arsene Wenger can win the league 
at home in front of the fans, and I just got an offer. No, no. All right, last game of the season against Espanol, man. We gotta make sure we get everything right. A draw will be enough, but a victory will be the icing on the cake. Let's change the lineup real quick. All right, this is gonna be the line for today. Four, two, three, one. The same as usual. Ten of home rules. Fatigue down on poor form, so I can't play in this game. So the court's gonna have to start. Silva's out injured, um, so he can't play. So Santel's gonna have to start. Baston is out injured as well, and so is um, uh, Bar Bernabe. He's on poor form, so they're all out for this game. Brandon's gonna start on the bench because he's on poor form. So De La Fuente's gonna start up front. Not my choice, but kind of forced what I have to do that right now. And uh, I guess for the most part, this is it. So, 4 2 3 1, that's how we're gonna play. Espanol playing the 4 2 3 1 as well. Whoever wins this game is a champion, basically. Uh, let me change my uniform. Alright, big game today. Espanol versus Leganes at Leganes home stadium. How set up can this be, man? This is historic. A final. This is basically a cup final here. Winner takes all. At least in Leganes' case, they can afford to draw the game and still be champions because Espanol drew their last game. Leganes cannot afford to lose, though. A lot of players out for this game. Rick Chris Sanchez is playing. I forgot to take him out. Let's try to get a victory here. Espanol will be going all outs because a win here is a league title. Way back, actually. Way, way back. Title to be the next big thing with Sass Fabricas. It never amounted to much. But now, playing a crucial part in Espanol's uh, promotion. Uh, comes Ibanez, takes the run. He's running, he's running, he's running. <laughs> but the oh, no! <laughs> that should have been a goal and a half. That should have been a goal and a half. That was a clean challenge. Amarita finds Vadillo. Espanol started the game so much better. The core defends well. So many first team players missing for Ligamis today. But will that stop them? Let's see. As he buys his throw on goal, Arsene Wenger's campaign was surely just bit. He the, the team on the counter! And De La Fuente he almost makes it 1 0. Pardo looks a good ball in. And it's almost an on goal there. Another corner. Ruben Pardo crosses the ball. And Diego Lopez. I see, of course, former drummer keeper Diego Lopez now playing second division with Espan. On the ball here, find Santelis Hernandez. I'm just playing patiently here, like I said before. Ligonets don't need to do much. De La Fuente, I'm sure he wants to get a goal. A lot of rumors about him leaving in the end of the season, saying that he wants to come get a new challenge. And of course, in the first half of the season, he was scoring for fun. But this second half of the season, he's been very, very quiet. It's only one goal in the last three months. Santelas and uh, Rickard Sanchez, players that don't usually play, starting today. De La Fuente as well. He's been starting a lot recently. That's because Brandon has been having injury problems. And we know Boston is leaving the club. Going to Santos Laguna in Mexico. And here's Boo on the free kick. He's missed the last two. Oh, come on, that's some curl to that. My left analog stick was all the way to the left. Banya's on the ball. Come back, De La Fuente! Man, this one score. Uh, it's, this is so frustrating. This is, ah, uh, man. There's a corner. Ruben Pardo takes it high. Sanchez on the cross and uh, takes a deflection of the Espanol player, Raul de Thomas. Oh, I thought I didn't know I was using Boa. I totally real didn't realize that he's the man I'm supposed to be passing to. And here comes Oscar Gill. 
You're going against Centellas. One minute of out of time. Can this be honest for the last counter attack? Delafonte is so weak, man. <laughs> Half time, nil nil though. Espanol yet to have a shot on target. Leon is looking like the team that needs the win. Why is Delafonte? Mboa has all the space in front of him. He plays a little driven. No, oh, I thought he scored. Who was that? Is that Delafonte? Nah, he's Delafonte was all the way behind. Oh, oh, Ibanez. Okay, I was like, who took that shot? I was like, Delafonte, I know he's been poor just recently, but no, he wouldn't have missed a shot like that. Delafonte getting ready to come off. And can he score? Uh, and that's his last effort of the game and last effort of the season, Delafonte. He tried and tried, just could not find the nets. Having the Morata syndrome right here. It goes our Naïs. Brandon! Tassil! The title! And it's another late goal for Brandon against Espanol. And that confirms that Leganes will win the league. Espanol need two goals. But well, Brandon, the super sub, has scored his ninth of the season. And Leganes have gone the lead. 1-0. Come on. Man, it's a phenomenal pass there from Arnaiz to find Marvin, who found Brandon, who shot a pass Diego Lopez, and sealed the victory for the team from South Madrid. 1-0, thanks to the likes of Brandon. His ninth of the season in 18 appearances, Espanol have been shell shocked. They fell up. They had the league. They had the league. All they had to do was win the next game, the previous game, and they couldn't do it. And Espanol are champions of the Segunda. And look at the celebrations there. Leganes are going to the first division as leaders. <coughs> Arsene Wenger's first league title since 2004. Seattle a players made the professional board, made the professional appearances, started for the club teams, and won titles before Arsene Wenger could do it. They're the champions of the Segunda. Is there going to be a trophy lift? Let's see. Yeah, there is. And they win the Segunda. Leganes, your Liga, Liga Smart Bank winners. The trophy is black. I don't know if it's black in real life, but that's the trophy there. Champions of Spain Second Division. And they'll be playing against the top boys next season because the champions of the world. Not really of the world, but more of, a, of the second division of Spain. What a title win. Espanol forced with no shot on targets. Man of the match was... Brandon. And that is it. That's how we end the league. Team of the season. Three Leganes players. Brandon, Boa, and Ruben Perez. Wow, Brandon made it. <laughs> um... Two Espanol players, two. Okay, this is probably a pretty good balance team. Alright. Fairy tale ending. What a way to get promoted in your first season. You were dominant your whole season. You started falling apart towards the end. But you won the league. It's, it's been amazing watching the guys this season. We achieved our goal and looked good while we're at it. I'm already feeling positive about next season. He's like, yeah, of course, with the club loaded with such stellar squad and coaches, the sky has a limit next season. For sure. And only rule getting linked with a move to Tottenham Hotspur. First former Chelsea player. All right, so let's do our our, uh, our squad reports for the end of the season. We'll do that. We'll check see who won what. Actually, let's check and see who won what first. Okay, we're gonna do that first. Champions Flamengo beat Bayern in the Club World Cup four one. Wow, 
Messi won the Champions League. Inter, Real Madrid. Wow, Real Madrid beat Atlanta, Man City beat Zenit, Liverpool beat Rangers. Wow, that was such a been a tie. Juventus beat Porto, Dortmund beat PSG. Stadrini lost to Bayern. Club Bruges beat Barcelona. Liverpool beat Bayern. Inter beat Club Bruges. Man City barely lose to Real Madrid. Dortmund lose to Juventus. Liverpool beat Juve. Real Madrid beat Inter. And Liverpool won the Champions League. When it comes to the Europa League, Arsenal. Okay, okay. Um, Man United, Granada lost to Besiktas, Napoli beat Borussia Gladbach, Spurs beat Leicester, Tottenham beat Napoli in the final, so they're the Europa League winners, so an all English final, all English champions. Uh, let's look at the leagues, which are the big leagues. Everton won the league! Everton! <laughs> Man United finished in 10th. Nah, I'm not doing the math right. Everton? Hold on a second. I don't think they played. I think they have one more game left. No, no. That that's the, that's it. Twenty one plus eight plus nine. Nope. Everton are Premier League champions. Arsenal second. Tottenham for third. Liverpool fourth. Man United finish in tenth. Cheese man. Burnley, Sheffield United, and West Brom get relegated. Wow. Everton. Leicester won the FA Cup just like this season in real life. They beat Arsenal this time though. We knew the shield was won by Liverpool. They beat Arsenal 1 0. Uber Eats League, Leo won it in real life. And PSG won it in this game comfortably. Coupe de France was won by Bordeaux. Lazio won the league. And Cagliari won the Coppa Italia. Wow. Holland, I'm assuming Ajax won the league. Yep, they won the league. AZ, they won the cup. Portugal, the winners of the Portuguese league were Porto. The Portuguese cup was won by Passos de Ferreira. Wow. Um, let's check Spain. Who won the league in Spain? Real Madrid beat Barcelona in the last day. Wow. Villarreal finished in 10th. And we got trashed by a team that finished in 10th. Not good enough. Huesca, Ibar, and Cadiz getting relegated. Um. And obviously, who won Copa del Rey? Won by Barcelona to be Juventus um, Sevilla in the final. Um, and the playoffs are still going on. No, they're not. Tenerife actually got promoted. Okay, that's cool. Well, Tenerife will be going up with us. The German League was won by Bayern Munich. And the DFB Pokal was won by Bayern Munich. So they won the double. And that's it, because the other competitions are still going on. Alright, let's do the squad report, and then we're going to end it here. So, squad reports. Three goalkeepers. I think that uh, we're going to need to sign a third choice goalkeeper just in case. Maybe somebody that's older. So, Pusin and Quillar doing pretty well. I'm, I was expecting Quillar to retire soon. That's why I signed Pusin. But if he doesn't retire, then I guess he could stay. On the rule, I would want him to stay. But if Spurs offer him a job, uh, Spurs bid for him, then I'm going to have to sell. Because Spurs is a bigger team, so I would like him to stay. He was arguably our best player this season. Hernandez, he's staying. Tokori is going to stay. Um, He's been a good player for us. Um, obviously, we just signed him also. So, Gonzalez, um, he's definitely going. I'm waiting for a team to bet for him, to be honest. But yeah, he's going. Um, Mejias is a lone player. And now he'll be coming back to us. He's definitely not going to stay. Silva, who started off the season really well, fell off horribly towards the end. But uh, I think he'll stay for this season. I might have to look into a replacement left back, depending on how much Santelis develops. Palencia is going to stay. He started. He played okay. This for uh, he filled in for Rosales, so he's going to stay. Ricker Sanchez might have. To, I might put him on the long list. Go out on loan, get some experience, and come back in the following season. Ruben Perez, we're not selling him. He's an old experienced player. We definitely won't sell him. City Bay, learning his traits under um, Perez. Reccio, player that's out on loan. Reccio, player that's out on loan. He's, uh, he's going to go. Shibasaki will most likely go too. Didn't play a lot this season. Only 11 appearances. Luis Perea is already going out on the free. Casio. Is definitely going. Bua will stay unless a big bid comes in for him, which I doubt. Hakim Sanchez that definitely gonna stay. Arnaiz will be going to uh, Getafe. His release clause was activated by Getafe. Ibanez will stay. 
Marvin will stay, Aviles will be going, he will not make a single appearance this season, and will not look for it again. Baston will be going, his release clause got activated, Brandon um, is staying, and De La Fuente, for now, will be staying, unless a bit comes in for him. He did announce that he wants to leave. Alright, so that's it. So, that's it for this season. Um, let's see who our top score. So, we actually achieved one of our last objectives. So, we'd have to sell one of our main players. Even though one of them might potentially leave. Um, let's see how we did when it came to stats. Alright, so. Overall records. Top score was De La Fuente. Ended up with 14 goals. Jesus, he fell off towards the end of the season. He was horrible, but. You know, 8 assists, 14 goals. Not too bad for a 22-year-old. Boa well, got 13 goals and 4 assists in his first season. Pretty good. Robert Ibanez did pretty good as well. I know he's not too... Did okay. Marvin, 3 goals and 5 assists. Nice in the appearances. Hopefully, gets involved more. Uh, Sanchez, 6 goals, 4 assists. We're going to have to make sure we get, get that up next season. We couldn't get that one. But, yeah. That's when it, when it came to the uh, top scorers, it was De La Fuente with Bua a close second. And here's some more stats. Um, dribble completion, our best one was Pardo. I mean, I mean, I don't know, it's kind of hard to deter that because, you know, you get past one defender, one attacker pretty easily. You only face one attacker, your thing's going to be 100%. But, you know, Bo had an 83 dribble completion, which is pretty good. De La Fuente had an 80 dribble completion. Passes received to De La Fuente, only 65. Yeah, he needs to work on that. Strength in the air, De La Fuente is not a tall player, so he's never going to win anything. Um, Hakeem Sanchez, dribbling 88. Passes received 84. Yeah, yeah, these people are small. They're not going to win any headers. CD Bay is... Uh, Strength in the air is only 50. He needs to work on that. He's a tall player. That should not be happening. Um. So yeah, these are the rest of the stats. Um, how many tackles? Who had the most tackles? It was Hernandez with 33. No, Muro sorry, with 34. S <coughs> sorry, sliding tackle only one. I only made one sliding tackle this season. Wow, and that was uh, Hernandez. Interceptions, I made 121 with Hernandez. Wow, he's been a phenomenal defender. But Omaru had 156. He was pretty good, too. And yeah, that's it. That's it for this season. So we end season one in first place, 96 points. Uh, 28 wins, 12 draws, and 2 defeats. That was very close to the invisible records. <laughs> but we lost two games, so we can't go invincible. One of them was I had no control of. Um, so yeah, the team's going up, Leganes, Espanol, and Tenerife. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know who you want me to sign next season. And uh, yeah, tell me, let me know who your favorite player was this season in the comments down below also. And uh, season two will start in a bit. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Peace.